not all. Fat paychecks and big bonuses on Wall Street. Kevin Roos, author of Young Money, uncovered the truth about new grads who landed jobs at prestigious firms just after the economic crash of 2008. Kevin joins us via Skype this morning. Good morning, Kevin. Great to have you here. Thanks for having me. Let's cut to the chase. What's the worst you heard from these young people you followed and interviewed? Well, these people are 22 and 23 years old. They're brand new to Wall Street, and they're put into one of the most grueling work environments you can imagine. One of them told me about this thing called the Banker 9 to 5, and it's where you work from uh, 9 a.m. until 5 a.m. the next day. So this is pretty common, and it's a really intense culture. A lot of people get burned out very, very quickly. What happens next to these young people after working those so-called banker hours? Well, some of them stay in finance and decide to make a career of it. But of the eight young people that I followed, about half of them decided that they didn't want to be on Wall Street. It wasn't what they had expected. They wanted the, the parties and the Lamborghinis and, in some cases, you know, the sort of Wolf of Wall Street culture. And what they got was something uh, much more dull and much harder to, to cope with. Is it worth it, though, for some in the end? You work and you grind it out, but like a lot of careers out there, at the end, you might have some money in your pocket. Absolutely. I think what's changed is that it's no longer the sort of guaranteed payoff. It used to be that if you put in your your you know your hundred hour weeks for a number of years, pretty soon you'd be a millionaire if you stayed on Wall Street. And I think that path has sort of broken down. So for a lot of the eight people I followed, uh, this was no longer as attractive a career path as it once had been. Are you seeing that? Are there fewer young people now headed to Wall Street? There aren't fewer, uh, but there are, they're coming from different places. So if you look at the data from places like Harvard and Princeton and Yale, those schools are all seeing precipitous falls in the number of their graduates who are going to Wall Street, which you know, may actually be good for the, these other schools that normally haven't been able to get their students in. Now they're able to. What are the Wall Street firms telling you? I'm sure they have a lot to say about your book. Yeah, they're, they're not entirely happy. I mean, these, these young bankers aren't allowed to talk to the media. They all broke the rules by doing this. And so, uh, you know, they're very nervous and the banks are understandably pretty upset that their employees went behind their backs and spoke to me for three years. Thanks for coming on the show again. That's Kevin Roos and the book is Young Money. Take care, Kevin. Thanks.